light. Turn on the light. Okay, I'm going to show off a few things. First thing I'm going to show off is the dashing and fucking turn on the light. New campfire sprites, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Turn on light. God fucking damn it, it was probably sunset whenever I logged on. Okay, so if you, you can walk in any water that you want. The problem is, if you walk in water, it's going to push you back and you're going to take damage. But you can dash over waters. If you're using a haste spell, a dash spell, a teleport spell, any movement spell, you can dash, you get a special value that allows you to dash over stuff. Which means this will allow you to do interesting things. Then we also added stuff like this. Now that box looks like, hmm, maybe you could dash onto it. But if you dash onto it and stay on it, the box will fall into the water and you'll be pushed back. And after a while, that box will come back up. Which means you're going to have to dash to each one of these boxes before they fall in the water. And if you stay too long and then dash, it'll still fall in the water even though you made it. So, and I'm probably going to up the time to what it's going to, to how long you have to stand on it to make it go in the water. Because I'm going to try to force people to have to memorize it and do combos to be able to get across like this. Or you can make a mistake and completely die. Son of a bitch. That's the end of that. Alright, so showed that off. Now I'm going to show off campfires, which is another very important aspect of this game. So let's grab. He should be throwing me a backpack. Yep. I turned off the line of sight because I was having some bugs with it. I'll be turning it on again later. a lot of debug stuff going on. Preparing these foods. Alright. We're still working on some new animations that are going to come in. I'm paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars for new sprites. So these trees are going to have, are not going to be tibia trees once we get them done. Alright, so now I got five firewood here. Now if you want to set up a fire, you use the firewood and then click on a new spot. And you can pile it up. And then if you control click it again, it goes back into being a movable item. But you cannot move it while it's in firewood, uh, in campfire mode. So you can build a fire however high you want it to be. Let's start with one. Then you can use a flint. You can use it from your inventory or on the ground or whatever you want. And then boom, campfire. The campfire will have a lifetime. It doesn't last forever. Um, you have to chop down trees to get more firewood. Then if you want to add more firewood to the fire, boom, more firewood's added. You can, the more firewood you add, the better the campfire is. Um, another, there is a problem with campfires. It's not necessarily a problem, it's a game mechanic. If you make a campfire that's too big and you're too close to it, you will start taking fire damage as well as anyone else near it. And that fire damage will 
sustain itself because you're technically on fire right now because you're so close to a fire you got caught on fire and if I move it's gonna of course if you run while on fire it spreads the fire so you take additional damage see if I can get some let me log on an admin character real quick give them some small stones back to this alright so now we got these small stones so you can use small stones to create fireplace circles it'll do three at a time if you only have one it'll just put down one you can put up to 15 stones in a circle and that circle will make it so that the fire you can be closer to it without getting burned and you can put stones around the fireplace that's already there too and it'll start making it more and more safe that way that you can sit around the fire without killing yourself and that's campfires for now there's probably a little bit more work we need to do on them they do, you take way too much damage if you step on it um, and also you can sleep while on fire which is kind of stupid <laughs> There's no reason why you should be able to sleep if you're on fire. But yeah, that's that's some new things I've been working on. There's a lot more stuff that I'm not going to show. The reason I'm not going to show it before it's released is um, new monsters, new quests, new puzzles, new stuff like that won't be shown because you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. So there, it's really important that you are challenged and experience new things once you play the server. It's not ready yet, but it's getting very, very, very close to the point where once all the systems are done, which I still have to do, the potion system hasn't even been started yet. Potions don't work. You can't make potions, you can't drink potions, nothing. Uh, food doesn't work correctly yet. All food, whenever you loot it, is going to be raw, and then you'll have to cook it. You can eat it raw. You, it's healthier if you cook it. They have different attributes and stuff. So in, you're actually going to be able to make pots and stuff on top of this campfire here, and like, or a rotisserie on top of it and cook meat, or uh, put a cauldron on it and make potions. So there's going to be a lot of interaction with campfires, and campfires are going to be a really important part of the server, which is why... Anything that's really important, we're going to have completely custom sprites. We're going to have custom sprites for potions, custom sprites for all the foods, custom sprites for campfires and uh, chopping down trees, and custom animations for all of those things to make it look wonderful. So I am excited about this, and I hope all of you are too. I'm going to post this video and see what you guys think. This is Flatlander signing off.